Hey folks, it's Tuesday morning. Lena here. So excited to be back with you. YouTube, great to be with you. Love your comments. Love your being here. If you're watching and you're not used to watching us on YouTube, maybe you used to watch us on Insta, welcome. Uh, we are excited to continue these daily power minutes. These are devotionals that I've written. We call them power minutes because they put a lot of punch into one minute. And so I hope you're enjoying them. Our topic today or our title is called Be Free. And the verse that I chose for this is Second Peter's, sorry, Second Peter 2.17. Uh, sound like I don't know the book of Peter. Anyway, for whatever overcomes a person, to that he is enslaved. What has control over you today? Before you say anything else, pause and think about it. For decades, I used to say that only God had control over me. Yet my habits revealed the truth about my heart. While I wanted God to be in control of every area of my life, there were one or two things that I didn't want him to touch. The lie I chose to believe was that I could get rid of them anytime I wanted to, but I never did. Anything that we're unwilling to give up in a heartbeat ultimately has control over us. It can be a relationship or an electronic device, an addiction or a diet. If we can't live without it, and we, if we cannot be happy without it, then we've got to admit that we're controlled by it. The only way to get rid of what enslaves us is to get rid of it. Cut it out. Be willing to surrender it. Until Jesus becomes more precious to you than the thing that you love, it won't ever be possible to do that. What is it that enslaves you? Will you at least start by admitting it and ask God to become more precious to you than the thing that enslaves you? That's the secret right there, guys. If we can talk about cutting it out, I mean, if it was that easy, people wouldn't be in rehab, people wouldn't be addicted. But, but the reason that it's hard is because it fulfills a certain need in your life. And only when God can fill you in a greater fashion, only when he becomes a greater pleasure in your life, as John Piper has said, that's when uh, sin loses its flavor in our life. So ask God to become your all, your desire, your, your um, true satisfaction. And that's the only way you're going to be able to cut that habit, that addiction out of your life. I'm going to pray for you that God will help you to do that and that God will be the joy in your life as you continue to seek to be free of everything that enslaves you. See you guys again tomorrow. Remember, you can subscribe to these at livingwithpower.org slash power minute.